Oh my god. Oh, look at this one. Something coming out of the Mad Max movies. This is really nice. Yeah, that is very nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. This is train heaven. That's where you take the Strasbourg train. Store and the railroad museum. Oh, that's very cool. Admission is nine dollars, or actually ten dollars for adults, and nine dollars for seniors. Youth is eight dollars, and under three is free. We just paid thirty-four dollars using our AAA. We only have an hour and a half to spend. I wonder if this is a steam engine. A passenger train and a steam locomotive right at the entrance and then on the other side you have 1187 but this was not a passenger train this was a freight train a freight train we have a lot of these carriages here isa did you see the mail cart and then is this milk butter and cream a coffin oh wow Really nice. Passenger trains in the late 19th century featured many elegant details. Stained glass, clear uh, story windows, golden oak panels, crushing passengers and upsetting hot stoves, setting the cars ablaze. This is their rail yard that you can walk around. I think that's an M-Track standing there. Does it remind anybody of Montreal? Yes. Yeah, it does. Looks like their repair shop. We are passing by an amazing train that kind of resembles something coming out of the Mad Max movies. If you do come to the railroad museum of pennsylvania do come out because there are nice trains and if the weather is good it's actually really nice here's this ringing that bell all right so we're back inside we're gonna go quickly walk around this one is grabbing my attention quite a bit what is it oh building a better caboose it looks very nice model of a life-size bridge this is the train repair shop you can go down and there's tools and then you can be underneath the train you can look at the brakes what is this ash pan now i can say that i've been underneath a train and a plane in our delta video we went underneath the uh yeah a 767 Guys, did you go under the train and look up? This is beautiful. That's amazing. Denisa looking at the traveling classroom. That was the car we were just in. The only car that's open for you to go in and take a look. This is the Western Maryland Railway. The one thing that works in this museum is just how well done this is. Uh, the train museum in Montreal, Canada, the largest one, um, it was a little bit more tight and it was much more dark. This is bright, lit up. And then you come around to the end and you're surrounded by the Dutch country, Pennsylvania Dutch country with cornfields, Oh, look at this one. Man, that's beautiful. We definitely appreciate travel, transportation, and train museums have recently come up in our list to explore. So I think I may have found my favorite, which is this. Yeah, that is very nice. Okay, we're definitely calling the hauling precious cargo Tahoe my favorite. Starting to head back. Um, towards the entrance 
each one of these engines are just so impressive to look at. This is the Pennsylvania Power and Light Company from uh, 1939. Like even just this alone is just so cool looking. Quick tip for anybody visiting, make sure you do walk through all the aisles. That's the con rail. Right behind this are the games that the kids are playing. First row has those buggies with uh, the Pennsylvania trains and the rail car, the luxury rail car that you can go visit. Second track has reading company and a very cool steam engine at the back of it. The third track has this Lehigh Valley Caboose and the last track has more steam engines and this black and white snowplow from late 1800s and then it also has a few picnic tables and a couple of vending machines so there's tons of stuff to like look and walk through and again the lady at the reception said if you start to like read all this it will take much longer but if you just walk through the museum it's about an hour and a half or so activity we are about 45 maybe about an hour in to our adventure here area play area for the kids even for the adults just to see how everything works including train tracks putting coal trying to trying your hand at the brake system or how the wheel sizes measure up most definitely this learning area is the most entertaining for the kids this little chart can like give you a perspective you can kind of see all the different shapes caboose versus a hopper car a diesel electric mo locomotive a great museum overall to come it's only 10 bucks 8 to 10 bucks per person and it's going towards a great cause they're buying their train tickets here that's the bulletin board and where are the trains going today do you want to go inside the photography studio they're having a tea party in here they have done a great job also on not only the trains, but creating this whole neighborhood between the hotel, bar, the photography studio, the store, the lodge, the movie theater, just recreating that feel of that, you know, 1930s, 40s, 50s, bygone era. They even have character cards for all the characters inside that house so you can actually role play the conversation they are having at their tea party all right so the kids found the model room so there's all these model towns oh it's built with lego trains and an actual train going around oh that's very neat To have this very impressive train set here in addition to the railroad and engines they also collect all these cool artifacts like inside this shop you have lamps and hats for the engineers and whatnot as i was walking by in that last row i looked there's a bridge up top with a staircase so let's go up and I see some details. There are some engineers right on top. You can see your four tracks labeled here. You can look down and get an aerial view of all the engines. Look how impressive that steam engine looks right from the top. That one's very cool. On the other side, that was one of my favorite trains. Look, the Con, Air, Con Rail is over there. I'm gonna recommend come up top on this bridge first, walk, so then you can see all the trains from up top, then go down and explore.
You're on camera now. You, you look great. Can you show what did you drop? A Thomas the train. No, what, what? is it called? Thomas the tank engine? A Thomas the train. Hey, which exhibit should we go to next? Uh, why don't you ask for help? What? Oh, excuse me. Oh, yes, yes. Maybe it's sword fighting? 